I decided to take down the cedar that I had on the back here and use plywood because I had um, some orders that I needed the um, the cedar boards for. So that wood is really pretty and it's um, kind of unique looking. So I decided to take it down and just fill this in with plywood from Lowe's. And, you know, and I just make better use of that wood. But uh, my plans are to have a little door here that swings out and one over there that swings out on, you know, a hinge door. That way when I'm in here blowing sawdust and wood chips out, I can blow it out that opening and out the front and out the back. So it gives me, it gives the, uh, the chips and the dust a place to go. Cause I like using my blower to blow it out in here from time to time because it does start to collect up and I really don't have a dust, uh, a, um, a dust collection system. Maybe that'll be a purchase I make in the future, but right now I just, I use my blower, so. And I'll be putting more shelving in over here. Probably four shelves along this wall. And, uh, yep, so that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll probably put some shelving along this back wall too here. And um, try to make, you know, as much use of the space as possible, so. And uh, I've got a bunch of shipping boxes back here and other priority mailboxes, and I'm thinking about putting a shelf along over top of the door to store all the boxes. They don't weigh a whole lot, and they're but, but they're large and uh, kind of cumbersome. So it'd be nice to have a place to put those. Or they're out of the way, but they're still accessible. So that's probably what I'll do with that. You can see I hung all my tools along this back, this header in the back. The tools that I'm wanting to grab on a regular basis. So I have them all out where I can see them. That's working out pretty good.